Hello and welcome to Marketing Edge on TV, Nigerian's initiative in the business of brand management and the management of brand business. It is a 30 minutes wholesome package that comprises brand news, branding forecasts, and industry conversation, all in a mix and compassing thorough in depth all aimed at promoting the brand idea. I'm Ogale Abikele Mafu. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand idea. Good to have you back. Thus, the Marketing Edge on TV is brand news where we bring you the latest developments around brands and in the field of advertising, marketing, and communication in Nigeria and around the globe. Now on brand news. As preparations for the 2023 general elections gain momentum with increased electioneering activities, the Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria, ARCON, has urged advertising agencies to adhere to the Advertising Code of Practice in order to maintain peace, decorum, and growth in the industry and quality. Speaking during a forum tagged Political Advertising in Nigeria, Regulation, Compliance, and Enforcement held in Portacourt, Dr. Olale Konfad Olako, Director General of the Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria, ARCON, stated that the forum has been organized to protect the political climate from chaos and unrest that could emanate from unethical political advertising. According to him, all political communication materials must be vetted and approved by the agency before exposure. Otherwise, legal sanctions will be instituted against defaulters in line with the law. Nigerian's telecommunications giant Globalcom has announced the commencement of its annual end-of-year promo where subscribers will be rewarded with exciting prizes. According to the company, this year's edition tagged Glow Festival of Joy promo will reward subscribers with 20 houses, 24 brand new cars, 100 generators, 200 sewing machines and 1,000 rechargeable fans. The end of year promo will run from October 2022 to January 2023, and subscribers should dial a dedicated short code star 611 ash and recharge between 3,000 naira and 15,000 naira for voice and data to be eligible to win the prizes on offer. Women in Management, Business, and Public Service Wimbies, a leading non profit organization in Nigeria has appointed a new board of trustees comprising 13 members with renewed call to galvanize support for increased gender parity and women representation in all spheres of human endeavors. The appointment was announced at the opening ceremony of the two-day 21st annual conference of the organization, which was held at the prestigious Echo Hotel in Sud Victoria Island, Lagos. Some of the appointees are BCA DME CEO DCSL Corporate Services Limited, Dr. Lubumi Aboderi Talaba, Non-Executive Director, Punch Nigeria Limited, Shoma Affair Head, Marketing and Communications Access Bank Group, and Aisha Ahmed, Jeopardy Governor, Central Bank of Nigeria, amongst others. The conference themed Firing Forward, the Future in Focus, which highlighted the challenges experienced by female leaders in public and private services Stress the need for improved partnership among stakeholders in the public and private sectors to advance increased participation of women in leadership roles and governance. The latest Advertising Association WARC expenditure report has forecast that the value of the UK's advertising market will grow by 9.2% in 2022 to a total of £34.9 billion, pounds, though this does reflect a downgrade of 1.7 from the previous forecast in July. The report, which is only to collect advertising revenue data directly from media owners across the entire landscape, shows UK ad spend rose by 8.8% in the second quarter of 2022 to a total of £8.6 billion, while ad spend during the first half of the year was up 14.4% at £16.7 billion. The UK's ad market is forecast to grow by a further 3.9% in 2023 to a total of £36.2 billion. This projection represents a downgrade of 0.5 when compared to July forecast. 
Meanwhile, online advertising share of total ad spend is set to grow to a total of 74.0% for 2022 and is expected to cross the three quarters threshold, 75% in 2023. Well, that was brand news. Nest is branding focus after this break. Esther, you're late again. Esther? She's a wandering light in the darkness. She's beautiful. Oh, she's a superstar. Morning, Esther. She never let her mama down. She's beautiful. No phones at the table, please. Oh. Esther. Oh. I love you too. So I, Got everything. I, Don't forget I'll pick you up for. Airtel, the smartphone network. Welcome to the Glow Festival of Joy. It's a celebration like no other, with prizes like no other. 20 new houses to be won, 24 brand new cars, 200 sewing machines, 100 generators, 1,000 rechargeable fans. It's raining giddy bomb prices this season in the Glow Festival of Joy promo. Dial star 611 hash to enter and grab your share of prices in this celebration of a lifetime. It can only be Glow. Glow Festival of Joy promo. Dial star 611 hash now. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the bright idea. Now on Brand in Focus. The Lagos International Trade Fair is the largest international exhibition in West Africa where brand owners, entrepreneurs and businesses within and outside the region are strategically positioned for brand awareness, patronage and trade relationships. The annual trade fair, which started in 1977, is organized yearly by the Trade Promotion Board and the oldest Chamber of Commerce in Nigeria, the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI. Being the largest business market in the ECOWAS sub-region, it attracts investors from other parts of the world. It has attracted both national and international entrepreneurs from over 1,600 companies all over the world. According to the Chairman, Trade Promotion Board, LCCI, Leia Kupolui, the 2022 edition of the fair is structured to connect businesses for growth and international trade relationships, adding that the event will leverage the African Continental Free Trade Agreement for economic growth. Consequently, multinational brands are taking the center stage in this year's trade fair to generate leads and increase patronage. Some of the brands that are prominently on ground at the fair holding at the Safar Belewa Square, Lagos, include Freshland Campina Wamco, a leading multinational dairy brand that has continued to excite consumers with an array of products aimed to revitalize and nourish the body. One One PLC, a leading petroleum product marketer and distributor in Nigeria, with over 250 retail outlets in all 30 states of the Federation, the company is respected in industry for its adherence to safety, health, and environmental standards. Other brands include Grand Oak, Viva Plus, Total, Hamba, UBA, Dangote, and First Bank, amongst several others. Consumers and potential buyers at the pavilions of most of these brands are being treated with total brand experience. During the opening ceremony of the trade fair, Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment Niya Debayo, who represented President Muhammad Buhari, stated that trade which revolves around connecting people and businesses will foster trade relationship 
that will immensely open up the frontiers for increased economic development for the nation. What I was branding focus, Nest is industry conversation, but we have interactions with distinguished personalities who have made great impact in the business of brand management. Well, this week we have with us the CEO of DO2 Designs, Mrs. Ifeinwa Igudalo, after this break. Welcome to the Glow Festival of Joy. It's a celebration like no other, with prizes like no other. 20 new houses to be won, 24 brand new cars, 200 sewing machines, 100 generators, 1,000 rechargeable fans. It's raining giddy bar prices this season in the Glow Festival of Joy promo. Dial star 611 hash to enter and grab your share of prizes in this celebration of a lifetime. It can only be Glow. Glow Festival of Joy promo. Dial star 611 hash now. Above the line, through the line, below the line, the world is changing and so is advertising. Join us at the National Advertising Conference 2022, themed the marketing communication industry in Nigeria, trends, challenges and prospects. It's the biggest advertising gathering for the biggest advertising issues of the day. Special guest of honor, Senator Dan Ladisankara, Chairman, Senate Committee on Information and National Orientation, Honorable Onusha Debumi, Chairman, House Committee on Information, National Orientation, Ethics and Value, Chief Host, Alhaji Lai Muhammad, Honorable Minister of Information and Culture. Host, Dr. Lali Kofadolapo, DG, Akon. Date, November 29th to December 1st, 2022. Venue, Transco Hilton, Abuja. Time, 10 a.m. No better time to chart the way forward for the practitioners, the industry, and the economy. Be there. Let's engage and share perspectives. Register at www.nationaladvertisingconference.com. National Advertising Conference 2022 is powered by Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria, Akon. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the bright idea. Hello and welcome to Industry Conversation, a segment on Marketing Edge on TV, where we have interactions with men and women who have made great impact in the business of brand management. Well, today we have with us the CEO of DO2 Designs, Mrs. Ifeinwa Igodalo. You're welcome to Industry Conversation. Thank you. Such I'm a happy great pleasure to, to have you. Thank you. Ifeinwa Igodalo is a pioneer resort oriented entrepreneur and a firm believer in the potential of Nigeria and Nigerians. With over 35 years of experience in the industry, she has significantly contributed to the growth of the furniture manufacturing industry in Nigeria. You're welcome again to Industry Conversation. Thank you very much. It's such Thank a great you. delight to finally have you. You know, we made so much effort to get you on board, but you've been Ooh. very busy building the business. <laughs> and so yes, we're here I to have. talk about the business. Yes. Tell us some of the challenges that exist in this industry and how our players such as yourself responding to these challenges. Okay. Right now, um, over time, the challenges, they evolve, they change. Initially, 30 years ago, we would have been finance, access to finance, um, maybe power. But right now, what I've done is I'll tell you the challenges in the order in which I perceive them and I feel them in, the, in, in my business as well as in the industry. And I, I think I can say it's the same for most people in this industry. Human capital and talent. That is what we are. That's the most challenging thing affecting us today. Um, we all know what has been happening with education, the strikes. Even when the students are in school, we're concerned about the quality of education that they're getting. And the, the quality talents that we have, the great minds that Nigerian ha Nigeria has, they, they're slowly leaving the country. So for me, it's a major problem. Because honestly speaking, I built this business with people. And if I didn't have people, good people, I wouldn't be here today. A few of them are still here with me. And so if we don't have good people, there's no problem you can't solve if you have good people working together. So, I mean, there are other issues. I won't talk much about them. Everybody knows about them. There's the issue of power. 
the increase in the cost of diesel, you know, sadly, these costs get transferred to the end user and then they transfer in order to be able to afford our products, they transfer those costs to their own clients and it's a vicious cycle that keeps going round and round. Again, multiple taxation. You know, we have and other imposed fees, regulatory fees, and, there, and there's a lack of empathy in the way, the enforcing of the tax laws. Um, you have to pay, you have to pay almost immediately. That coupled with the multiple government agencies performing similar roles, like I've said, and each agency has comes with its own levies and its own fees. And yet, they are failing to provide us the support that we need. Because if you're paying for these things and you're not having to pay for other things, then it balances out. So those are, those are I would say, the two greatest challenges that we're dealing with. I mean, the three greatest, human capital and talent, uh, power and multiple taxation. I want you to give us an assessment of the Nigerian manufacturing industry, especially the industry where the segment of the industry where you play in, which is, of course, the furniture manufacturing industry. Yes. So Nigeria's manufacturing sector has recorded significant growth in recent years. Manufacturing contributes approximately 10 percent of Nigeria's gross domestic product, GDP, each year. And this includes local production of household goods, consumer products, agriculture, building materials, etc. The federal government's efforts at advancing local industries and the acceptance of our homemade products have largely aided this growth. The interior design industry in Nigeria is still evolving. It has definitely gained momentum as everyone is finally interested in creating an aesthetically pleasing environment in homes, offices, and public spaces. Beyond the ambience, however, is the need to have all our raw materials sourced locally. Currently, the industry still relies very heavily on imported materials, even for the raw material content. The dream is to have 100% of our raw materials sourced and produced locally. We have been actively working on this to make this a reality, especially as we manufacture furniture pieces with indigenous components, and we manufacture in large quantities for all our wholesale and retail clients. You started your, your company three decades ago, and um, I would like you to tell us what the trajectory, oh, you know, in terms of growth. So yes, I um, started my, this year is 35 years, since I started my, my business. Um, so yes, over three decades ago. So I started with the founding and registering of design options in 1987. And um, we were able to grow, I had a partner, we were able to grow the company to becoming a household name. Then exactly 10 years ago in 2012, um, we had a major reorganization and rebranding, and the company then became the company you know now as Zero Two Designs. Um, the growth and trajectory, for me, the furniture business for me has always been, my vision has always been to have a large scale business. So we started off in design options like a boutique, it was more of a boutique business, which we hoped would grow, and it did. But the final push came in, when we rebranded as DO2, when, well, when I rebranded with my team as DO2. And we moved from a 300 square meter showroom to this uh, 1,500 square meter building with office furniture. There's enough room to display furniture because as much as we sell a lot of business online and we're hoping by next year to um, grow our online presence, online business, e-commerce, furniture is something that it's good to sit on. Remember when you, when I, when I first saw you, the furniture we had chosen in the showroom to sit on was too low. So people actually like to come in and test the furniture. Have a feel of it. Have a feel, exactly. Touch it, mm -hmm. sit on it, even the colors, see it. Because sometimes it doesn't come across quite the same as when it's on, on a picture, on online. So yes, having this uh, 1,500 square meter showroom is the first step in our trajectory. So we've been taxiing, now we're mm -hmm. taking off. Ultimately, uh, we hope to be the one-stop shop 
the choice, the preferred choice for all interior designers and uh, wholesalers for their furniture needs. So tell us how you were able to surmount the challenges that usually accompany small businesses when you started off you know, over 35 years ago. Whew. Okay, first of all, the landscape was completely different 35 years ago. I actually feel for uh, young entrepreneurs today. The good thing is that they're bolder than, I thought I was bold, but they're bolder than I was. There's so much access for them. There's access to the internet, to Google, information, technology. So they have that today. When I started out, I'm not even sure what technology was. Mm. There were no mobile phones. There were no, we practically were just struggling with the landlines. Um, but so the landscape though was totally different. The environment, the economic environment and the business environment was much, much more amenable, more pleasant, more hospitable than what we have now. So I guess it balances off. Mm. So what challenges would I have had finance? And how did I surmount that? I started the business with nothing. And I kid you not, absolutely nothing. Um, I had a, the first client we had, spoke to the client, convinced them of what we were, the business we were doing. And again, there was a lot more trust, unlike now where mm -hmm. you have to do a search, you have to do all that. And they were expatriates. I convinced them that we would be able to do this job. They gave us an advance payment. So we, they literally practically funded the project and we did a brilliant job. And that's how, so with the ripple effect, other, they introduced us to other clients and the company just started growing from there. So the company funded itself. So that's mm -hmm. how we dealt with finance. Um, quality, because we were young, we were, um, I have an eye for detail. And I'm, in fact, it drives people crazy. My eye for detail is beginning to drive me crazy now. I need to <laughs> tone Slow it down. down. <laughs> yeah. So um, managing the production and things like that, we were able to do that as well. So now we have so many other people to handle that for us. So yeah. So those, I would say those are the two things, the finance, getting the clients. Like I've said, we had a lot of referrals, a lot, because the quality of the work was done, was good. It was aesthetically appealing, you know, so. So let's talk a bit about your company, DO2 Designs. Um, what is the unique selling point of your company? The, I would say we have a catchphrase, a hashtag. Our hashtag is quality in every detail. Um, that's one of the unique, well, it's supposed to be one unique selling point. So quality, quality, quality. But like I said a little earlier, we are a one-stop shop for all your interior design needs. From office furniture to home furniture to accessories, rugs, lamps, we handle, we have a design team, so we handle projects, turnkey renovation, ceilings, uh, wall treatment, window treatment, mm -hmm. you name it. Mm -hmm. Everything you need for the perfect and the most beautiful interiors, you can find it at DO2. And then also a hashtag is quality in every detail. So we handle, there's quality and then there's detail. That's why we put the two together. So we handle your projects or your orders, our products have quality and we pay attention to the little details and that's what makes us unique. Quality in every detail. Quality in Very every striking. Detail. So tell us, are there some exciting offerings that you have in mind to thrill your uh, consumers this year that you'd like to share with us? Okay, well, like I said, this is our 10th anniversary. So this year we're hosting every, in the last five years, I think, Five years ago, six years ago, we started the DO2 Black Friday. Okay. Then when we took it to Harbor Point, a huge warehouse event center full of furniture on Black Friday, we then renamed it the DO2 Big Black Friday because it was big. Massive. And that was, yes, that was got us a lot of attention. Our clients were very happy. So it's our 10th anniversary. So this year we have the DO2 10th anniversary big black friday so it, it gets longer so yes for the 10th anniversary we have some surprises i'm not going to let you know what they are quite yet okay we're still tidying them up for okay. our special and our loyal clients who have brought us where we are today um to say thank you but the do2 big black the do2 10th anniversary big black friday is going to have very special discounts especially 
for our return customers. We welcome new customers, but there's going to be very, very special discounts, even more special than the years before. Okay. And it's just a way of saying thank you. Okay. So look out for the DO2 10th anniversary Big Black Friday coming soon. I look forward to it. Too. And it's going to be hosted in a showroom okay. here, 642D Akadishola. Okay. Victoria okay. Island. That's where we're hosting it this year. Okay. Let's get to know you more. Okay. Okay, I remember something that when I laughed. I always say to everybody, I can laugh for Africa. This oh, was a gentle laugh. I see. So when you hear my laugh, sometimes it rings. So I'm a happy person. Okay, you see that. I'm a happy person. I like to be happy. That's what I love. I the joy of life. You know, I just like being happy. I like happy people around me. And most of all, I love making people happy. Mm. Just the way you made me smile all through this exactly. interview. <laughs> Yeah, you see that oh, yes, I see. Coming. <laughs> so thank you so yes, much, ma'am, for having this time out with us on Industry Conversation. It was really overwhelming to have you. Thank you so much yeah, for your time. Thank you. I must thank you. You've done, you relaxed me. I hate interviews, so I've enjoyed myself. The thank pleasure you so is mine. Much for being so good at what you do. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that's it on Industry Conversation. Do well to join us same time next week for another interactive time. I'm Ogalia Bikele Mafro. See you again. The north is so beautiful. And the food. Ooh. It's nothing like I have ever tasted before. The color. Vibrant. What about the aroma? The aroma. Oh, gosh. It smells just like this one. This smells so good. Yeah. Your dambu shinkafa tastes even better. <laughs> How did you do it? Anga seasoning. It's all the seasoning you need for great taste and aroma. Anga. Mama's helping yes. hand. My son Aiden wants to be a great actor like me. He did great. A couple of years ago was when his acting began. Bow down to my flaming sword. Think you can play? Catch. I take him to auditions and give him Twister, our family favorite. With the right support, my boy is going to be a great actor. You got the role. Give your kids Twister to support their big dream. Twister, power your dream. Thank you. Hi there. Hello. You can price shop, but you're always saving on everything except for here. This is where you'll train money down the drain. How? On this cleaning product. Impossible. You need the new Hapik Toilet Cleaner. With just one thirty Naira sachet of Hapik Toilet Cleaner, you save more. Hapik Stick Formula stays longer, so it cleans 10 times better. Wow, Helen! And it saves because it's only 30 Naira. Giving you a sparkling clean toilet and great savings too. As I they look Niger, I they see land of opportunity where they ginger me with confirmed collabos. My dream of plenty food for we community. Don't say my collabo with European Union. Don't elevate my business. No be small. No more wastage. And only supply of obonge food with the produce for we community. As I look Niger, I see country where person dream fit come true. TVC Communications, Nigeria's leading independent broadcast company, has been officially designated as a great place to work. Over the past few years, we have transformed our workplace into one which is respectful, caring, rewarding, and provides great benefits to all our 500 employees. We thank our team for giving us the chance to show that partnership between employer and employee really works. TVC Communications, officially designated as a great place to work and now the only broadcasting and media company not just in Nigeria but throughout continental Africa to be fully certified. TVC Communications, a great Nigerian company, a great Nigerian place to work. At Tivisa News, wherever the big news starts,